Quantum information holography, the universe is a projection of light and information. The universe is not a static stage where events unfold, it is a holographic projection of quantum information encoded through light, interference patterns and entanglement. In quantum information holography, what we perceive as space, time and matter is a projection from a singularity onto the event horizon of a black hole. Everything we experience is part of this vast cosmic encoding process, governed by the interplay of wave interference, Fourier transformations and quantum entanglement. Let's step inside this framework and understand how reality is formed. At the deepest level of reality lies the singularity, a region of infinite information density where all possible frequencies exist at once. It is not a physical object but pure angular frequency, a field of potential states spinning at the speed of light. From within the singularity all possible timelines and quantum states exist simultaneously, waiting to be projected outward. These states are not static but encoded in quantum state vectors, which describe the probability of all possible configurations of the universe. But how does this vast field of potential collapse into the structured reality we experience? Reality emerges through projection. Just beyond the singularity exists the event horizon, which acts as a holographic screen, a mirror that receives and encodes the singularity's quantum state vectors. Since we cannot see inside the singularity itself, its reflection on the event horizon allows us to perceive reality. It's as if we are watching a movie through a mirror. The film is encoded deep inside the singularity, but what we see is the reflected projection on the event horizon. This process follows a profound transformation known as Fourier transformation, where the singularity's angular frequencies unfold into the fundamental frequencies that define space, time, and matter. Imagine tuning an old radio before you can hear a clear song. The signal must be converted from high-frequency waves into audible sound. The universe works the same way. For a projection to remain stable, it must be continuously refreshed, just like the frames of a movie. This is where Hawking radiation comes in. Hawking radiation is not just energy escaping from black holes, it is the cosmic projector, constantly updating reality frame by frame. Each pulse of Hawking radiation encodes new information onto the event horizon, determining which possibilities from the singularity will manifest in the next moment. This means that reality is not a static structure but a continuously unfolding projection where every quantum moment is encoded, observed and updated through light. The information projected from the singularity does not just define objects, it also defines motion, gravity and probability. As quantum state vectors are projected onto the event horizon, they interfere with each other, forming a vast quantum state vector tensor field, the underlying structure of space-time. This field is analogous to Einstein's gravitational field equations in general relativity, but in QIHH it is more fundamental. The arrows in this tensor field represent velocity components encoding an object's motion. The probability amplitudes determine where and when particles appear. The interference patterns define gravitational curvature, ensuring that reality is self-consistent. In short, gravity is not a separate force, but the result of quantum state vector interference, weaving the motion of matter directly into the fabric of space-time. The event horizon is not a single surface. It is composed of stacked layers of probability, like a lens focusing reality. Each layer refines the projection, transforming raw quantum information into the structured experience of space and time. The singularity is blurred potential, the event horizon is focused reality. This means that all possible histories exist in superposition, but we only experience one at a time. The probabilities shift and collapse based on interference, forming the continuous flow of time. At the event horizon, quark-gluon plasma acts as the fundamental holographic encoding layer. Unlike regular matter, QGP exists at extreme energy levels where quarks and gluons are free, behaving like a perfect quantum fluid. This plasma interferes with itself, forming patterns that structure space-time, just like the waves in a Tesla coil form electrical arcs that encode information. This is why QGP plays a key role in black hole information storage, ensuring information is never lost. Early universe formation is shaped by the cosmic microwave background which encodes its remnants. Quantum entanglement and space-time structure are enabled by QGP, allowing holographic encoding at Planck scales. In QIH, quark-gluon plasma 
is the medium through which reality is encoded and projected. If black holes project reality through quark-gluon plasma resonance, then the human brain must function in a similar way. Our neurons are quantum oscillators, resonating with incoming information and filtering it into experience. Microtubules within neurons operate at gigahertz frequencies, behaving like biological Tesla coils, tuning into quantum states. Microtubules resonate with quantum frequencies, modulating the fundamental field of reality. Consciousness results from Fourier transformation, converting quantum oscillations into structured perception. The brain functions like a receiver, selecting and filtering one experience from the vast field of potential timelines. If this is true, then we do not generate consciousness, we tune into it. Consciousness is not separate from the universe, but is a reflection of the same quantum information process that structures reality. Everything in reality follows resonance and projection. Black holes function as cosmic Tesla coils, transforming singularity frequencies into structured space-time. Quark-gluon plasma encodes space-time, forming the interference patterns that define gravity, probability and motion. The human brain mirrors this process, with microtubules acting as quantum receivers, tuning into the holographic projection of reality. The Big Bang was not an explosion. It was the moment the cosmic Tesla coil activated, the moment space-time first resonated into being. We are not separate from this process. We are the projection. We are the resonance of reality. Everything you see, feel and think is part of this universal broadcast of structured light. The universe sings and we listen because we too are Tesla coils, resonating with the symphony of existence.